This is number one from the 2012 Calc A, B, and B, C exams, and it's a table problem where you have to do all kinds of approximations. Um, so the first thing we have to do is approximate W prime of 12, um, and that's going to be a difference quotient. So you go one to the left, you go one to the right. So W of 15 minus W of 9 over 15 minus 9, and that gives you just reading off values from the table that, which is approximately that, and then we need units. So the units of the numerator are degrees Fahrenheit, and of the denominator are minutes. And then we're supposed to interpret it. Uh, so, um, so that's the approximate instantaneous rate of change of W, uh, which is the temperature of the water at T equals 12 minutes, is... Uh, 1.017 degrees Fahrenheit per minute, and so the temperature is increasing. I mean, it's not like 100% clear to me what they want me to say on that, so um, that's my interpretation. And the next thing is I need to use the table to um, figure this sucker out. But that's just fundamental theorem. So you're asked to use a fundamental theorem a lot. Make sure you uh, know all the ins and outs of how you would use that. So that's going to be W of 20 minus W of 0. And uh, we can read those straight from the table. So 20, we get 71. At 0, we get 55. Um, and that's going to be 16 degrees Fahrenheit. We have to interpret that. And uh, if you integrate a rate, you get the total, the, uh, well, the total net change. So the net change in the temperature of the water in degrees Fahrenheit on the time interval from t equals 0 to 20 minutes is 16 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's 50. 16 degrees uh, warmer than it was when he started. And uh, in the next question, we have to approximate the average value of uh, the average temperature of the water on the 20 minute time interval using a left Riemann sum. So don't forget the 1 over 20 there. A lot of people forget that. It's probably the number one thing that people forget, actually. Um, and so the first interval is 0 to 4, so that's 4, and the left endpoint is 55. Thus, uh, the next one goes from 4 to 9, so that's 5, and then 57.1 is the left endpoint, and then we go from 9 to 15 to get 6, left endpoint is 61.8, and finally we go from 15 to 20, which is 5, and then 67.9, um, and that's going to be in degrees Fahrenheit, and you can calculate it if you want, 60.79 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we're asked if this is an over or an underestimate, but we're also told in the problem stem that W is an increasing function. Um, and since it's increasing, a left Riemann sum will underestimate the integral. And if we just underestimate the integral, uh, we must have underestimated the uh, average temperature. And that's all we really need to say about it. All right, and then for the next, the next part is totally a calculator with, again, the fundamental theorem. So we're given W prime, W prime of T, rather. We're actually given a function. Make sure you close the um, radical. So it's 0 0.4 radical T and then cosine of 0 0.06 T. Uh, a lot of my students will do uh, radical and then T cosine, uh, and right then you're, you're kind of doomed. So make sure you're outside of the radical when you do that. But anyway, the fundamental theorem tells me that if I integrate the rate from 20 to 25, then I should get W of 25 minus W of 20. And the question is, what's W of 25? So I'm going to rearrange this. So that's W of 20 plus the integral from 20 to 25 of W prime of T dt. And that's going to be approximately, we read that off of the table, W of 20 is 71. And then we use our calculator to get this value. And you can add those calculator or in your head, because that's not too tough. And then it's going to be in degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, that's it. We don't have to interpret this or anything like that. So that's the whole problem. And I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.